Welcome back everyone, this is chapter 7, we are going to perform a kickstart installation in CentOS 7. We record a old server for already installed server for the kickstart installation. This server was, uh, we have uh, seen the chapter 3, that was a fresh installation and once we are done with the installation we will get an account of file inside the root directory. Okay. Uh, it will be in the read write mode, only it, it will be accessed by root. So we are going to use this file to perform the kickstart installation once more uh, once again we need a web, a web server so here we are going to use the web servers apache as our web server to share the anaconda file from this server to access in any other new server so let me do a more and uh, read about the anaconda file in the anaconda file it will it's showing that authentication which password algorithm I want to use and from which installation media how the type of uh, installation method will be used it's a CD-ROM it's a graphical mode installation first boot want to be enabled and I want to in ignore the SDA disk first disk uh, and the keyboard which keyboard type want to be used which language and the network uh, what device name and uh, what the host name and the root password and the root password will be encrypted here and what are the services want to be used and time zone everything was mentioned here and the partitions okay or the package want to be installed at the end we can mention reboot so that the once the installation completes it will be automatically reboot okay i just type reboot at the end uh, after the uh, at the last we can see there is a percentage end after that we need to type reboot so that the once the done installation it will reboot so now we are going to see under where www.html i am going to put this file okay already i have done it I just you move the file to this directory where www.html is my uh, document root once you install with the httpd package this location will be automatically enabled and I have changed the host name to uh, CentOS uh, KS 7 KS okay CentOS 7 KS dot Linux geek videos dot com this is the host name I have renamed so once this done we want to check uh, the whether the service was up and my IP want to be noted this is IP this IP is 192.168.107.148 I want this I want to type this IP while doing a fresh installation on other server let me check the status of the HTTPD service whether my web server is up and running system CTL status HTTPD so the file is now shared to the web server the anaconda file want to be located in this where www.html so that it will be shared to access, on, access in all other server and, this, and the permission want to be 644 you want to change the permission to 644 okay by default it will be 400 uh, 600 change it to 644 let me log out this server and let us see how to install a fresh machine using this file this is the other server new server i am going to install it install now just once you receive this uh, boot screen we don't want to press enter or anything just we want to press escape as we have seen in the installation text mode installation just in this screen uh, we need to press escape here we need to type linux space ks is equal to ks is equal to kickstart uh, http semicolon double slash uh, colon uh, double slash 192.168.107.148 the ip of the other machine where the anaconda file and the file anaconda hyphen ks dot cfg okay just once I press enter, the file will be copied to this server automatically and the installation steps, I don't want to do any installation step, so just I want to sit back and I want to see whether what's happening or something, okay. I'm not going to touch any key in this laptop, in this server, okay. 
it will be automatically perform all the steps from uh, configuring the time zone the file was now uh, downloading you can see the the device which using is sr0 the file downloaded so the files are then the installation files are copied from the media to the server the anaconda installer is launching For the graphical mode installation and the text mode installation, we have uh, choose the option one by one which one to be performed, installed. Here I never touch anything, it's almost done. All the configurations are done automatically by kickstart installation file. Okay, I have not touched anything. The root password also it's set, it's almost done. The administrator was created. All the files are started to copy it now it will take a little bit time to copy the packages and install the package I have never touched any keys once I done with the Linux space case is equal to HTTP colon double slash uh, 192.168.107.148 slash anaconda hyphen case dot CFG this is the type what I have done in the boot uh, boot menu after that it will be carried out using the kickstart installation file the time zone configuring the security policy choosing option and the software package and the uh, uh, software source, uh, source and the software uh, locations and uh, uh, network configuration and the position layout and the file system type what the size for the file system uh, which mount points everything will be defined in the kickstart installation file and i am not going to perform any manual steps okay it's almost done with the installation and the bootloader is installing once the installation completed i am not going to reboot the server by clicking by clicking the reboot option at the end of the installation it will be automatically carried out because i have mentioned a option at the end of the kickstart file as reboot even you can shut on the server using shut on minus uh, shut on minus or halt or something shut down or halt or something now the server has been rebooted automatically and we are getting the grub menu it's coming up just I copied a file, anaconda file from other server and performed this installation. There is no manual instruction. It's taking a little bit of time. Yeah, we got the login screen. Just I am going to use my credential. The default credential which I used in the chapter 3 is root and the red hat. In all the chapters, I am using the same credential. So I am going to provide the root as my credential and the password as the password mm, root as the username and the password as the uh, red, red as the password this password also defined in the kickstart installation uh, file by encrypted method you have seen that uh, while i run the df minus it the layout of the this mount points are different from the chapter 3 because i have not uh, defined the mount points manually in this kickstart file so let us see uh, later that by how to manually do that uh, thanks thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the right corner there is a logo gnu logo thank you